When things go bad for A.I. Pika girls wearing mini skirts, the Playboy Mansion, the story so far. After a close escape from the sharks, the leggy blonde in red, or should I say mermaid, and the tall, dark, handsome businessman, or should I say merman, swim their way up to the surface of the deep blue sea. She decides to dry her long blonde hair in the sun while sitting on a rock close to the beach. She also needed to wait for the return to a human form, or should I say a long-legged blonde. Once she gets her legs back, she decides to go for a run along the beach in a red miniskirt. After her jog, the tall, dark, handsome businessman takes her to his villa on the beach in his red convertible sports car. A few of his playmate friends were also on the way in their sports cars to the villa for drink with him. On their way, they overtake him going through the tunnel. They were driving a bit too fast for the leggy blonde's liking. After taking a swim in the pool, she decides to make her way to the tennis club with her new playmate friends. She decides to show the playmates that she could also drive fast as well. After winning a few games of tennis and really getting the swing of it, bearing in mind she hadn't played for a long time, she begins to dream of playing at Wimbledon. After winning a few games of tennis and really getting the swing of it, 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 really getting the swing of it. One of the playmates, resting on the bench who she had beaten earlier, invited the leggy blonde to the Playboy Mansion for a party. The leggy blonde agrees, and also to have a race to the Playboy Mansion with all the other playmates in their cars. They rev up their engines and get ready to start the race to the mansion. The race starts, the green light is given and they are off. With screeching of the wheels, the smoke from the tires fill the air with a grey... After fine-tuning the Ferrari that the tall, handsome businessman said she could use for the race to the Playboy Mansion. Grey smog of excitement. The atmosphere is electric, but the cars are not, hence the smoke. After two hours of racing to the mansion, the leggy blonde finally gets there first, a good half hour before the other playmates, much to her amazement. Hugh Hefner and two bunny girls greet her at the entrance to the Playboy Mansion. She's given a glass of champagne and makes her way into the mansion. More bunnies greet her at the front door, all wearing red skirts. Does this mean that the tall, dark, handsome businessman is also at the party? The party was in full swing with plenty of celebrities dancing and singing all over the mansion. In fact, in every room there was something going on. She's told later that the mansion has over 20 rooms to party in. The party was even happening outside on the lawns with many birds and I mean peacocks. But why would the playmates be running everywhere? She finds out that they were hunting for the parcel that Hugh Hefner had hidden, containing a diamond ring. The prize was, whoever finds it, keeps it. The leggy blonde decides to continue to look for the tall, dark, handsome businessman instead. You might think this story is beginning to sound a bit fishy. And yes, it is. And we all know why. Watch this space.
the story is to be continued.